Welcome to Behind the Barrels. I'm Josh. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to be talking about... Barrels! <laughs> so today we're going to be talking to you guys about barrels. Barrels. Uh, <laughs> in particular, uh, I think we're going to focus on some of the barrels that we have behind us. Most of what you see behind us right now are bourbon barrels. Um, bourbon barrels that we're getting uh, sourced from Kentucky, Yep. primarily. Um, so the, the interesting thing about bourbon barrels is that they can only be used one time in the process of making bourbon. Mm -hmm. So once that barrel is used to make bourbon, uh, there's a large secondary market and um, over the years with all these craft breweries opening and, and craft distilleries and the like, that secondary market has become, um, these barrels have become a lot more sought after. Um, but it's kind of like anything else. You go online, you look for them, you shop for them, right? Amazon. <laughs> Gotta go shopping. <laughs> so the thing with barrels is that every barrel has its own unique character. Um, another thing um, that's kind of interesting about most of the barrels that you see here, most of the barrels that we use is that um, a lot of the barrels that are used kind of around the world, whether it's for winemaking or spirits making or the like, um, uh, one of the preferred um, woods that they use is Missouri white oak. So a lot of the oak that is grown here in Missouri uh, is actually then harvested um, and they're sent off and we've got, we're smack in the middle of two of the larger barrel manufacturers in the United States. Um, you know, we've got one that's about 30 miles to the east of us and we've got another one that's about 50 miles to the west of us. And a lot of the barrels that we source um, for the winery uh, and the wine production, we get from these, these local, uh, the, uh, what uh, the- uh, Coopers. Coopers um, that are located on either side of us. <laughs> Smart. Yay! Uh, so as far as how long we age the product in the barrel, that's a question that we get quite a bit. Um, it, it really varies. It's very, very dependent. Um, so it could be dependent upon things like, you know, is this the first time that we've used the barrel? So the first time that you use a barrel, you're going to get a lot more flavor, you know, and every time that you use it, every time you put something into that barrel, you know, you're stripping away more of the flavor, a lot of more of the aromatic compounds, right? So we do reuse and recycle barrels and we will reuse them repetitively. A lot of the barrels that we get from the winery have gone through not only their red wine program, but also their white wine program by the time they get to us. And we don't really get a, a, a huge amount of oak flavor from it, but what we do get is a lot of that residual kind of wine notes. And so what, again, we talk about doing lower ABV beers. So we've done things like Hefeweizen, or cream ale or things like that that we put it in the barrel and we get a little bit of that oak we don't you know but it's not overpowering yep. um, and we get a, but we get a lot more of the residual flavor from it other things that impact you know virtually anything that you can think of from temperature to humidity. airflow humidity yeah. um, which is why you know when you start a program like this it, it, it you know can become a little bit labor intensive because you just don't know and at, like i said earlier every barrel is different you think about every tree you know, which is where they're coming from, um, has a different growing cycle, has a different life cycle, right? So it starts all the way back, you know, at the tree and when it's harvested and then those staves are put together, um, you know, that also has an impact and imparts flavor, you know, further down the road. So the question is, we really don't know. Yay! So when we get a barrel in, uh, you know, from our barrel broker, uh, we bring them inside the building here and first thing we do is we check them out for uh, any potential damage or any uh, gaping holes, anything that might tell us that this barrel is not going to hold liquid. Most barrels are pretty squared away when they get here. They're usually freshly dumped uh, with uh, the liquor. They're put on a truck and they're shipped out to these barrel brokers and to us right away. So there's still actually a little bit of, you can see wetness and bourbon inside the barrel when you open them up. Yeah, so first thing you got to do is uh, remove the bung from the bung hole. What's a bung hole, Matt? Well, a bung hole is actually the hole on top of the barrel where actually the liquor is drawn out or put in and pulled out from. So 
Whew. Interesting know. name. Yeah, I don't know where the bung hole came from, where bung, the word came from. But Maybe uh, it came from the, the hole that receives the bung. I think so. So what came first, the bung or the bung hole? I'm going bung. You're going bung? I'm oh. thinking you have to have something to insert. So we get the barrel in here, we open it up, we inspect it, uh, and usually we have a beer already ready to go to fill these barrels. Because like I said, we want them to stay wet, we want them to stay you know, moist, and, uh, and start get that beer in there right away before they dry up. So typically, uh, you know, here at Public House, we've uh, usually uh, kind of stuck with uh, eight barrel aging stouts. Uh, our Anthony's Pacification, mm -hmm. uh, it's a big, strong, 10% uh, alcohol um, stout that just really works well uh, when you add a bourbon uh, barrel flavor to it. So, um, you know, there's been a lot of experimentations with a lot of other craft brewers, you know, putting all sorts of different uh, other types of beers in there. But usually porters and stouts are going to be your most famous uh, ones going into a barrel. We've also used wine barrels here uh, that we've uh, received from the winery over here at St. James. Mm -hmm. And we've aged uh, some, uh, some, we put our goza in there, our house party goza in there with some fresh fruit. So there's a couple of different things you can do with the barrel. Put the beer in there and then also maybe add some fruit to give it a fruit character. Most of the time, the character you're going to be adding to the beer is going to be, you know, notes of bourbon, notes of oak, uh, vanilla, uh, anything you can really kind of think about when you think about bourbon and, and wood, that's some of the flavors you're going to impart into this beer. So, um, I think um, one of the other things that, that has been interesting that we've done is typically when people are doing barrel aged beer, um, primarily, they're usually doing, as Matt kind of alluded to, higher gravity or higher ABV beers. And we've actually done a lot of barrel aging with lower ABV beers, which is not as common. Um, yeah, the Revelation. And, yeah, Revelation oh, style. Such a good one to put in a barrel. And so a lot of times when people think of barrel aged beers, they think that they're gonna be these big boozy animals. But um, what we've been able to do and what we've had fun doing in, over the years is making these smaller um, ABV beers that have that full rich depth of flavor. And really the only difference a lot of times is that um, you know, the, t the contact time, mm -hmm. right? So the contact time uh, on the surface area of the barrel, you know, is different. Um, and that's, again, varies barrel to barrel. Yep. Um, and so, you know, one of the things that we have to do is we, we're constantly going through and, and, and tasting to see where the product is and see if it's ready, see if it's got enough of that um, residual flavor coming over uh, from whatever product was in there before. So- That's um, the fun day at work, pulling samples from <laughs> barrels. Right. You make sure you have a big lunch. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate your time. And if you have any more information about bungholes, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Cheers.